Okay, hey everybody, my name's Melissa. I'm from CA House Music. I am here with Brian Wampler from Wampler Pedals. Yes, the last name is significant. All right, so my personal favorite pedal of yours, Dracaris pedal, Dracaris pedal, excuse me, Game of Thrones. I'm a huge geek, but I'm gonna turn this over to him because he knows a lot about his own pedals. So here we go. All right, so you wanna go through the past few pedals we've done or? Which, the new set. Okay, so the abs the absolute newest thing we have is the Terraform. So, so it's a multi-modulation. Uh, and subject to change, I may change a few of these uh, of these sounds. But right now it's got a couple different flangers, it's got a couple different choruses, it's got phase, it's got univibe, it's got a, a slow gear type of effect. It has a, a regular tremolo, a square wave tremolo, it has a harmonic tremolo. I may, there's a few things that I may actually like take out a flanger and put in some other effect once we, once we get a little closer to market. Um, it, why? why? Yeah. Because I don't know if we need three flangers. Okay. You know, like I may want to do something that's more like an Ottawa effect or something like that. So just a little more versatility maybe. Um, it's stereo in and out or like the Strymon Mobius, you can run it pre and post. So you can set some effects, whatever effects you want to go pre, whatever effects you want to go post, you know, with your dirts. So it's pretty versatile. It does have MIDI as well. Yeah. Um, and it's, it looks, in some of the pictures, it seems like it looks bigger. It's actually the same size as like the Dual Fusion. So it's pre still pretty small. And um, they, they are like, they're down. I can't pick this up. Right. It's, it's, it's stuck. It's but. stuck. You're afraid people are gonna run off of it because it's such a cool pedal, right? That's, a, that's exactly yeah. what it is, yes. <laughs> they are nailed to the board. Yeah. But that's, a, but that's the newest one, looking at a um, probably a late spring release on that. And then, um, let's see, a few months ago, Black Friday, around that time, we came out with the Fuzzstration. That's a, I would say it's kind of approaching like a Big Muff style fuzz with a three band EQ and you can change the character of that and turn it into something a little more, for lack of a better word, different. I mean, it's just a different type of fuzz in that position. Uh, it's an Octavia style, uh, Octavia, Octavia style octave rather. You can run it pre or post. So some people like to run those after the fuzz. Some like to run them before the fuzz. Uh, and then prior to that was yeah, it's got to have fuzz. Uh, the, the Pantheon is my take on sort of if you take a, a Marshall Bluesbreaker pedal, it's real transparent and light overdrive. Yeah. Combine it with sort of a King of Tone type of flavor, okay. and then give it the ability to have more gain change some of the clipping options so you can basically take it from from that light overdrive into a pretty high gain pedal okay. so and those are the three most recent releases yeah okay i'm gonna take this so i'm very interested in your favorite pedal that you have ever designed what is your personal favorite i like to ask the hard questions the the problem is that Generally, once we come out with a pedal, I've been playing it for about nine months at that point. And it's like, and at that point, it's like eating the same food every day. Oh, I get that. <laughs> so it's like, okay. it's like, that's cool, but I'm sick of it. <laughs> no, but I mean, I, I like, I mean, if I had to pick stuff, like if I go to a gig, I'm sitting there thinking, what do I want to play tonight? And it changes all the time. But yeah. usually I'll grab a Plexi Drive Deluxe. I may grab a Pinnacle Deluxe. I usually, I'll use one of the Tumnuses just depending on how big of a board I have and what I'm feeling like. Um, let's see what else, if I had to pick right now. If, it, if it's more of, a, more of a country thing or more of a fusion thing, I'll throw a Paisley Deluxe on there as well. And then uh, I usually run the Ethereal because I don't really, cause what, what I do, I don't use a lot of tap myself just because you know, if I'm playing, it's generally in a cover band yeah. and no one cares if my delays are syncopated or not. So <laughs> it's just a smaller form factor. So. Oh, speaking of the Brad Paisley, I was um, one of our our salespeople, Roger Ford. I was instructed to tell you hi from him. He was, I don't know if you know, our store and where I live. We're about 15 minutes from Moundsville, West Virginia, which is where Brad grew up. And Roger was Brad's guitar teacher growing up. So I was told to tell you, hey, from Roger. That's and awesome. you know, he, he thought that was pretty kind of a cool history, just like a yeah. thing. Okay, so speaking, uh, so I guess 
It, with your answer, I'm going to change my question. Which pedal did you get most tired of, most annoyed with by the end? That's a good question. Um, <laughs> golly. Let me, let me think here for a se second. They're all like kids, you know. It's a, it, I feel like I feel like you're asking me. So, which kid do you like? Do you least like? You know, you're like that guy's a good jerk. So, <laughs> no, I don't know. Um, I, like the Pinnacle Deluxe, I spent a lot of time tweaking on. Um, the Plexi Drive Deluxe, I that was more fun. I was I just kept changing that, and and um, I, I mean, like some people. Some people read books, like we were talking earlier. Some people watch movies. Yeah. I like get a breadboard and start making circuits for fun. Or if I don't do that, I just grab a boss pedal and modify it, right. and just see what I can do with that. So that's it's a uh, it's kind of a nerdy pastime, but yeah. it's I guess I could be doing worse. <laughs> so is that one the most fun that you've had designing a pedal? They're all fun. I mean, I. They're, they're toys for guitar players, you know. It's, it's like it's like going. If you're asking me if I worked at a cookie dough factory, you know, which which one are, do you like the most, or which one are you most tired of? I love it all. Like I, it's all of it's great, but you know, sometimes you do get tired of that particular type of ice cream or whatever. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I, I guess if I had to say something like Boost, for example, Boost are a good utility. Not too exciting though, you know. Like they make it louder, that's cool. Um, but it's not, it's not like that exciting, that, you know. It, but I it. I so it's, I, I kind of look at it more like that. Right. Um, it, I'm especially with the new Terraform. I'm really excited because we're we're really heading more into more digital type development stuff. Okay. So some of the stuff that we're working on for 2019, 2020, yeah. it's just crazy and probably not what a person would think we would do. Because in the past we've done like a lot of a lot of dirts, a lot of distortions and overdrives and compressors and stuff. So I can't I can't say much, but I can say that, that being that this is so dramatically different, yeah. I expect a few more things like that where you're like, what? They're doing what? Can you like secretly tell me? Like just pretend, you know, we'll just go behind the booth and you can tell me and then I'll come out and be like, he didn't really tell me, but it's this. No. <laughs> You'd get in trouble, wouldn't you? Unfortunately, I can't. I'd be at fire. I would fire myself. You'd fire yourself. Aw. <laughs> That's... You know, I, I almost had a comeback for that one, and I don't. You're like, hey, it's time to... I'm just done. I, I'm firing myself now. Cool. All right. Well, just look at these. I mean, okay. So, hi, all of you YouTube viewers who have stuck with me personally for this long. I appreciate you. But like, look at how cool these are. And I'm not a guitar player. I'll freely admit this. But like, not only do they do really amazing, awesome things that really resonate with gearheads, which I don't know. I mean, I feel like you're probably a gearhead. You know, a just a bit, yeah. yeah. Just like you know, from the way you're talking. But like, personally, these are. These are awesome, and my eyes are drawn to them. The look um, of the pedal itself. I don't even play guitar, and I'm like personally and emotionally invested in this in this pedal, you guys. So, um, you know, one thank you so much for your time today. It's really cool to be able to talk to you, um, and like and subscribe to our channel because we get to talk to really cool people like Brian Wampler. Anyway, all right, let's all wave like this. <laughs>